All right, guys, so check it out. I'm at SHOT Show. I'm at the Arsenal booth, and here's another look at the AK-20 that we shot at Media Day. And if you didn't catch it on the other video, so the AK-20 is uh, basically an evolution of the AK-47. I'm assuming AK-20 is referencing 2020. So um, you got the integrated suppressor onto the barrel. There's a free float system here. Even the gas system is free floated. Adjustable gas system as well. Pretty standard stuff up here as far as a um, bolt and carrier. Same thing with the selector. Uh, a lot of the DNA is still the same, but the biggest change really is the, the gas system and the barrel with the uh, over the barrel suppressor. It's really cool. That is nice. This is actually kind of cool with the uh, M4 buffer tube or receiver extension kind of deal. Yeah, I'm assuming that's bolted in the inside to the trunnion because it looks pretty. Oh, it's dovetailed. You see that? It's dovetailed in there. That's cool. Very cool. And it's hard to believe that that's free floated, but yeah. It's beautiful. That's there he is. The Cerakote. There he is. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Ryan, everybody knows who you are by now. You're famous. Tell us what you got, man. We've got the AK-20 system that we came out with this year. There's about 10 model variants in that system and about 26 SKUs underneath it. We've got Mill 762, Stamp 762, 556 Stamp. We got a 50 Beowulf over here. A lot of options. So the AK-20, what makes it the system is what we did with the gas tube. We have a three position gas tube. We have a, a far right setting for unsuppressed or standard rounds. We have a middle setting for suppressed subsonic, uh, suppressed supersonic, and we have a far right setting which says sub on the side. You put a subsonic round in and it takes care of all the overpressure. If you use a subsonic round in the center setting, it basically makes it a bolt action weapon. It will not eject the casing on purpose. The handguard itself is free floated off the barrel, does not touch it. It's mounted back on the gas block in the trunnion, and it's extended all the way to the back of the where the charging handle reciprocates. We have Bulgarian milled pistol versions. We have a lot of the U.S. milled versions themselves. The custom shop comes; uh, they're basically pre-production. It's a custom gun that uh, goes anywhere from 1999 to 2650 with all machine components. There's no casting in these models at all. Uh, barrel links at eight and a half inch, 10 inch, 16.3 inch. Butt stock options anywhere from Picatinny rail adapter, tube adapter, AR-15 tube. We'll have an Arsenal AK brace, AK-100 series. So basically taking care of all the platform. Uh, M-Lock also, and we'll have polymer hand guards as well for production. They're M-Lock underneath. That'll be the polymer. Here, I think you were here. mentioning that at the range yesterday about the polymer one. We so didn't have any at the range. There figured. it is right there if you guys are wondering. Can you yeah. pull that down? Absolutely. Can I don't know. So get a better yeah. view? So that's the, what the polymer hand guards look like. Now these will not ship with iron sights. You'll have to go third party or go ahead and put on whatever optic or red dot you choose. So you probably save a, a few ounces going with polymer, right? You can, yes. Save a little bit of cost. You know what's funny is um, I know a lot of guys that actually prefer polymer in some cases. Does he just prefer it because it doesn't soak up as much heat as metal? It's they got its pros and cons, I'm sure. So these will all have... we got to go over to a different one to show you the muzzle brake. This. This is our new muzzle brake design, just seeing it at the show. And it's made to work with those suppressors that were over there. We make our own suppressors now. It's an over the barrel suppressor. So basically the suppressor will mount on the rear with a 24 by one and a half right. It'll come out to here, so the barrel will be half of the suppressor. Now is that a scoop direct thread? Is it direct or is it? This one is threaded on 14 by one left. The muzzle nut in the rear is 24 by one and a half right for the suppressor. Oh, okay. Uh, to service the gas tube, this actually pulls straight out, so you can clean it that way. But again, free floating the handguard completely off of the barrel. Well, I forgot to ask you on the polymer handguards, are those free float as well? Yes, the same setup. Same setup. Okay. Yeah, the lower is attached to the upper, which is attached to uh, the gas block over the train. And, uh, what are we looking at here? Just a pistol version? This is a pistol version. This is a. This one, Sam 7K. This one is on a Bulgarian build. So 
that's for the guys that want a shorty until they get their paper work in. This is a 10 inch pistol version. We have an eight and a half inch. We have a eight and a half inch and a 10 inch SBR version and a 16.3 inch rifle version. Very nice. The custom shop firearms will all ship coming about April. Production, standard production, available by uh, looking at the end of third quarter, beginning of fourth. Very cool. Uh, what else do we got, by the way, since I got you? Is there anything else we should look at? Uh, well, for the triggers, all the custom shop guns are going to come with the Fime Group Enhanced Trigger. And we have one on a rifle over here on the rack. So for the custom shop guns, we've got the Fime Group Enhanced Trigger, which is it's flatter than the standard. It's got a 1.7 take up and a 2.8 break on it. So it's very, you know, finger on it. Let me charge it. So 1.7 take, 2.8 break. So you can speed shoot or you can uh, do your accuracy, breathe for the wow. accuracy. And it's a $65 retail drop-in trigger. Affordable and high value, yeah, nice, very nice. Are those available now? Those have been available for over a year oh, wow. through Fine Group. It's FM-922EUS. I gotta get one of those in mine, that's cool. Very cool. Right on. Uh, yeah. um, no, these are just the different various versions. Variants. Okay. <clears throat> what we did for Farm Group, if you want to switch switch uh, okay. roles for Farm Group, <laughs> sure. I have no malice. We have the 6.5 Grindles in the thumb hole stock and a 243 Winchester. Oh, nice. So, to make these more um, desirable, we converted them. We converted a number of them to this configuration. <laughs> this and this. You got that same polymer lower on the AK-20 system. We put the Arsenal muzzle brake on the front. And we have different buttstock adaptions, either the AR-15 style or the, uh, I don't even know what to call that configuration. Cool PRS. Yep. So now it looks like more of a modern sporting rifle versus the thumb stock. So in the 6.5 Grendel, you've got 16 and a half, 20 and a half, and 23.2 inch. We made those just for the show. That is beautiful. And those for sale now. Available now. Awesome. Awesome. Very cool. Is that everybody? Uh, everything? That's the quick rundown of the new stuff. Yep. There it is. Arsenal at Shot Show. Check them out.